getting it. If you look right here at this angle, you'll see, okay, this is sunset red right here. And now it's not gonna go on that thick, okay, but I don't know if you can even see that. We got the gold pearl here, we got our blue pearl here, okay, and we got our purple right here. The white, was I, he's gonna have tan interior, so I'm thinking I might go with the gold. All right, now, like I said again, it's not gonna be that thick, okay? And I don't know. The purple also looks good. So I'll probably go with, boy, it's a hard fucking decision, you know? Boy, this is a hard fucking decision. So many colors, so many choices, so many mistakes that might fucking happen. You've got to do it right. You've got to make sure you choose right on that because if you fuck it up, we're fucked. So what I'm gonna do is think about it over lunch. And it's gonna surprise everybody. So we'll just think about it for a while. Cause I don't wanna fucking come back and do this again. Because uh, once I put flames on, I don't fucking redo them, okay? That's it. You wanted them, you got them. Okay? Plain fucking simple. So let me go to lunch, check it out. I'm gonna think about it, and then we're gonna pop them on there and get a gander of what they look like. And Bruno over here, he heard the word lunch. You ready to go eat? Are you ready? Are you hungry? Well, let's go. Come on. Get, get, get. Go on. Let's go. That is what our little pal's good for. Eating, shitting, and sleeping. Oh, you're not hungry now. You're not hungry. Come on, get. Go on, get, 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 get. All right, I decided, I decided to go with the blue pearl, frost blue pearl mix. Now what I did, I took approximately that much out of the bottom of the bottle and I used about that much reducer, okay? That's all it takes because we're making semi-ghost flames, okay? We are not making, okay, ghost flames or solid pearl flames semi, so you want your mix to be real thin. And I got it right here mixed up, ready to go. If you look, I'm gonna see if I can open that up easy. And I don't know if you can see inside there, but we're gonna give a little If you look down inside, okay, it looks like milky water, but you can see the pearl essence moving around it. So, that's basically what you're looking at. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna open our fan all the way up. We're gonna go ahead and open the pattern, okay? The uh, volume, this is your pattern, this is your volume. We got the, vo the pattern opened all the way up. And we're gonna use our uh, volume on a medium flow, okay? We don't wanna overdo it. It should okay. look like the flames are intertwining. So we'll go ahead and give it a clean out. Of course, that's way too high. On the air pressure. Like I said, we're just going to go ahead guarantee you when I pull the tape off you're gonna notice the difference. I'm gonna go ahead since it's going on pretty thin I'm gonna go ahead and put one more coat on it then I'm gonna do the other side same way. Now I'm doing this without a spray mask so I can teach you out there how to do it. Of course I have full ventilation on my shop. I have all my doors open and it's a nice uh, breeze outside and it's blowing right through. Don't do this without proper uh, face protection and gloves. Okay, you don't want that uh, the chemicals penetrating into your skin. 
because that's just as bad as breathing it. So I got to put one more coat on there, then we're going to get our purple, puller, purple pearl out and highlight our flames. Okay, I went ahead and put the uh, several coats of pearl that I wanted to put on it, different colors, variations. And as you look at it, you can't really see any difference. But there will be difference in that. Okay. When we pull all the tape off. So what I gotta do now is put my inner coat clear on it to seal it up. I'm gonna put two coats of that, let it dry for a couple hours, then we're gonna pull it off and see what we got. Reset my gun. All right, this has been a very, very strenuous job. I got a headache, I'm fucking tired, and I wanna go home. What we got over here, I got a headache, and I wanna fucking go home. What we got right there is flames, okay? And what we gotta do is get all the fucking tape off the flames. It's been sitting for three hours now. Three. Uno, dos, tres. So let's get the fucking shit done. And let's see what our semi-ghost flames look like. All right, there you go. As you can see, those are semi ghost flames. We're gonna get a good look at them and let you check them out. Don't forget now, they have to be clear coated. When they're clear coated, they are really gonna stand out like something out of the Southwest Rotten Custom like it should be. So let's fucking look at them and see what actually took two and a half days to do. And I don't know what's worse. Taking the tape off or putting the freaking tape on. the tape job that I did, that's what's hard about doing these type of flames. Okay? Put the... Alright, come on. Come here. That's what's hard about doing these type of flames. Okay? That's what's hard about doing these flames if you see the way that I taped it off. I left the tape where it looked like it was pinstriped. Whereas on the other one that was pinstriped, I didn't leave the tape in there because we were pinstriping it. So what happens is our blue paint becomes the pinstripe of our flames. The farther we get back, okay, look, you can't even hardly see them. So we'll be back. This is Pete, Southwest Rod and Custom. That's Bruno. And we're always here, right? So take it easy. Have fun. Enjoy what you're doing.